All right, so we're looking at a Chevy 350 here and a 91 Camaro that we're gonna be taking off the radiator hoses for. Uh, what you're gonna need, flathead screwdriver, take off these clips right there, and then to wiggle the hose off, this little tool can be really nice just to pop on in there and take it out. Now that you have your old one out, make sure to put the little clips or fasteners, whatever, back onto it before you finally put it back on. It's a little a little tight fit, but O'Reilly said this was the right one. I'll play with that a little bit more. So the first step of replacing a lower radiator hose is to jack the car up, especially on a low car, which as you can see we're dealing with. So I got about that much to jack this thing up, so uh, I'll, I'll be back once this is up. Now that we're under here, we can see the little clips off the motor and the radiator. Uh, you are definitely going to want a pan um, once you're under here. Uh, especially you want to drain your fluid from your radiator before you get under here for sure. Um, and even if you have, it'll sit all in here and potentially in the motor. So you're going to want a pan and uh, be some paper towels. Be prepared to get a little bit wet. So we're just going to take off the bottom one. I'll do this off camera. All right, now that I got the clip off, I'm gonna slide, slide the pan under it. Grab our little tool. Let's see if we can do it in here. There's not a whole lot of space we're working with. Sorry about the whole camera angles. There we go. Getting around a little bit, loosen it all up. Yeah, we were getting ready to take this thing to the track and figure, you know, we'll go beat on it a little bit, break it all before we get out to the track. And yep, fully blew up the radiator hose. It's all along the whole bottom is just leaking everywhere. There we go. A little bit of a little bit of coolant. See, it's gonna drip. Oh, nice. Oh, right in the eye, that tastes good. Just 
Yeah, you should probably wear uh, rubber gloves. That might be nice too. Oh, also, this does not taste like Gatorade. I've uh, just had first-hand experience with that. Here, we'll let this drain. I'll come back in a little bit. Sorry about the air compressor in the back, but something I learned, your hose is right there. That's your connection. So, it's easier to get it from above if you've got a little tiny little screwdriver on it. Just sit it on there and get it from above. So, here we are back under the car. As you'll notice, the hose is off. Um, I was telling you guys earlier about how it was ripped in some spots. Well, I slid off the side there and it just ripped and fell into pieces and the radiator over was not as empty as I thought it was and poured fluid everywhere. So it was just a little bit of a problem. So I just took it the rest of the way off. It was super easy though. You can see. It just goes right there. There's another little clip on it that you just unscrew. Not too different. You guys can figure it out. So, we have our piece back on it with the clips on it. I'm going to shove into their spot up and over the sway bar. Oh, apparently into the fan. So, let's get that around my wiring. Now, oh, doing this with one hand is easy. There we go. Perfect. I'll take this bottom part here. And shove it nice and nice and greasy. Just shove the tube right on it. This tube's a little bit of a tight fit, so we might have to fight it a little bit. I'll come back to that. In the meantime, Let's just pop that big guy on. Boom, just like that. We'll push it up in a little bit. Perfect, that's on. We'll slide this back up, tighten it. Once you pop that on, mine's gonna take me a second, but pop the hose, pop the hose on it and tighten it all back up and that's how you do it. Make sure to fill it back up and make sure to empty out your radiator fully so you don't make the mistake that I just made. So I got it all tightened up now. You can see, got it tightened up right there and got it tightened up on the bottom there. It was a bit of a struggle, the tube was really tight and if that's ever the case, you get it on the same way you got it off. Take this piece, stick it under the tube and just pull and stretch it right on over. Now, let's first off drop it down, make sure nothing's under there anymore except my mess. I'll just take it and Drop it down real quick. Pull the jack out. So next what you would do is fill up the radiator. Um, I mix it 50 to 50 water and antifreeze. Uh, you can do your own research and look that up for what works for you. But I have a lot of other stuff I need to do here um, to this vehicle so I cannot f currently fill it up right now. Um, I need to do a water pump and just about everything else in this vehicle so stay tuned uh, if you want to learn how to work on a Chevy 350 because I got a lot of videos coming here. Alright, uh, thank you very much. Uh, see you later.